In this video, I'm going to show how do you call SharePoint APIs using Postman. Let's begin. So basically, <clears throat> to call the SharePoint API, you need to generate the access token. And to get access token, we need certain details that we have seen in our previous our videos. How do we generate the client ID and client secret? And how do we give permission? So we are going to use the same client ID, client secret, tenant ID, and resource ID to generate the access token. So we have the to complete token URL to get access of the access token. So this is the post API and the URL would be https colon slash slash accounts dot access control dot windows dot net slash tenant ID slash tokens slash OAuth slash two. So the URL would be look like this. So accounts dot access control dot windows dot net and then whatever tenant ID did you, you pass you will pass it in the template parameter and slash token slash OO slash two. And basically then you need to pass the body where you have to pass the key grant type where you will hard code like is our client credential. Then you have to pass the client ID and client ID would be the combination of client ID that you generate and underscore tenant ID. Sorry, at the rate tenant ID. So like if you have a client ID, this which has been generated at the at the rate, the same tenant ID that you pass in the path parameter also. Client secret. Client secret would be the secret that you generate and resource. Resource is the another one that you have to pass, which will be the combination of three things. Resource ID slash site domain at the rate tenant ID. So resource ID would be like starting from 00. zero. We'll show you how do you generate resource ID also slash that site domain, which is your tech support dot SharePoint dot com in this case at the rate tenant ID. So this tenant ID we are using at three places. One in the URL itself, second with the client ID, third with the resource. And once your access token is generated, then you will use the SharePoint APIs to upload the file, to create folders, to get access of the uh, document ID and so on and so forth. So basically the URL to upload the file would be domain.sharepoint.com slash site slash site name in which you want to upload the document underscore uh, API slash web slash get folder by server relative URL and then site slash site name slash folder name under which folder you want to upload the file slash file slice add and then you have to pass the url equals to the file name and then overwrite equals to true so the example would be like this taxupper.sharepoint.com taxupper is your domain name slash sites taxupper would be your uh, site name and then slash site slash taxupper slash shared folder document shared document is the folder where we are going to upload the files and then the file slash add less uh, then url equals to the file name and then overwrite equals to true so let's see and check how we can do the same thing in postman first of all so here guys like i told you first of all you need to generate the resource so because we need to pass resource so here to generate the resource we have this url taxupper.sharepoint.com taxupper is your domain name slash vti underscore bin client.cfc this and then you simply need to pass authorization header as a bearer token that's it so you can pass anything here and when you send it it's of course will give you 401 unauthorized error so if you go to the headers of the response you will see www-authenticate which will give you that result that is your tenant id so you can fetch the tenant id using that also and client id which starts from here and here it is your resource ID that you have to pass while you will pass the resource parameter. Understood? So these are the two things that you can keep. And now you need to generate the access token. To generate the access token, you go to this get token API, which is the post accounts.accesscontrolwindows.net and that is your tenant ID. Okay. Slash token slash OAuth slash two. And then <clears throat> under body, under body, you will choose X www form URL encoded and you will pass all the four keys here. One is your grant type, client credentials, 
resource is the combination of resource, which is your resource ID that we have generated from here, hyphen slash then taxapper.com, which is your domain name at the rate again, tenant ID. Client ID is the combination of <clears throat> client ID at the rate, then this is your one. Uh, again, tenant ID. Client secret is your client secret. So that is what we have. And when you send button, it will give you the access token. So you can see token type expiry in not before expiry on resource and then resource access token. So this access token guys, you will use for other things. So here I will use upload file API. And here, this is the URL techsupper.sharepoint.com slash site. This is my site underscore API underscore web. Okay. Slash sites slash tech supper slash share documents is my share document is a document file and the file name I am putting here. Here I will pass the access token. Let me copy that access token from here. And put here. Go to the body. Here you will use the file and then upload your file. And now when you will send, you will see the file will be uploaded here. And if I go to my SharePoint drive and guys, if I refresh it, so you see it's my site, taxapper.sharepoint.com slash site, taxapper, and I'm in the SharePoint documents folder. If I refresh this, you will see the file has been uploaded now, wf outbound.xml. And here you see the file has been uploaded here. So this is how you can use SharePoint APIs in the Postman to interact with the SharePoint. So guys, that's all about this. And I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.